I'm not obsessed. Okay, maybe I am. But it's Star Wars, damn it. New Star Wars. Looking at that first cast photo filled me with nostalgic joy, but there's something missing. A whole bunch of somethings. Where's Boba Fett? Low grade Ewok? Where's the gonk droid? I'm going to find them. I'm Jamie Stangroom, and in each episode, I'll track down an unsung hero of Star Wars, audition them to see if they've still got what it takes, and maybe get them back in a future instalment. <laughs> I've decided to start with a cult favourite, originally a minor character whose entire dialogue would fit into a single tweet, but still intrigued fans enough that he's said to be getting his own spin-off film. Today the hunter shall become the hunted, as in a cafe in Streatham I've tracked down Boba Fett himself, Jeremy Bullock. Despite starring in the West End, Jeremy still found time to undergo the rigorous audition process for The Empire Strikes Back. I went along, met George Lucas, and I had the outfit on. I was walking on the set. I remember George Lucas saying, mm-hmm, uh-huh, well, welcome aboard. It's not a big role, but uh, I'm sure you enjoy it. And then he walked That was it? Away. That was the audition? That was, that was the part. That was how it happened. It still amazes me how popular he is. He, I mean, people said, you didn't have much to say. I said, well, I didn't have much to do. But for me, I think the character take took off because of that outfit it does the work for you you don't have to start saying i'm boba fett you don't have to do all that you just stand still yeah and the, the stillery is it's clint eastwood you know fistful of dollars was that the inspiration the then for, it, for me boba. yes but the, it was the actual costume that did it not me boba's near silent badassery was undermined by his demise at the hands of a blind man with a paddle but did jb think boba could have escaped the sarlacc pit even George Lucas has said, he, yes, he does get out of the Sarlacc pit. I'll be looking forward to watching how he gets out, because it won't be me. I mean, if I was 25, maybe I could do it. Who should do it, then, if it's not you? I don't know. There's, uh, well, there's hundreds of brilliant actors, and I'm sure they'll select somebody who's really good. I, I, I look forward to it. I don't think... Who would you why like didn't they use me? Who would you like to hand the helmet over to? That's a good one. Um, the people I'd like to hand it over to would be probably too old. Although, let's be honest, under the mask, under the costume, you can make yourself look 23. Another celebrity with their eye on future FET films is Daniel Radcliffe. But does Jeremy think the boy who lives could become the bounty hunter who fell in a sandpit? So would Radcliffe be a good Boba Fett, do you think, then? Yeah, I think he would. Yeah. He's magical, he's talented but his, the magic would get him through. While Radcliffe's Boba might be a tantalising proposition, it's unlikely Jeremy's going to get a call from J.K. Rowling anytime soon. Jeremy loved my Photoshop, but it turned out he doesn't love everything about the modern world. Now, Jeremy, I, uh, I hate to break it to you, but your character isn't technically Django Fett's son. He's a clone. What are your views on cloning? Um, I've, well, I find it a little bit unnatural that people are cloned. It could be dangerous for the future. Regardless of who plays Boba in the future, they'll be pretty happy if the casting goes Angelina Jolie's way. But does Jeremy approve? Yeah, I think so. It'd be great. I think she's magnificent. But do we want a Boba Fett love story? Or would they be like sort of no, joint be a spies brief, and brief, bounty hunters? No, a brief love story. Just to go, I've got to go to work. And then you see him fly. That would be... Great. And given that Angelina's currently on her third husband, perhaps it's only a matter of time. The world first saw Boba Fett in the infamous Star Wars Holiday Special, which Lucas has practically banned since. George Lucas didn't like that cartoon character, so it probably gave a push to bringing out Boba Fett in a, in a little bit more light. So, did I, you watch the Holiday Special no. in all this entire? You've never no, seen I didn't. it. No, I've never seen it. I think if you did see it before taking the role, you might have stuck to the theatre. That's probably fair to say. Oh, really? Yeah. The people who made that must have been on the uh, wacky Chewbacca. That's the level of shocking we're talking about here, Jeremy. <laughs> like all celebrities who appear at conventions, Jeremy has some weird fan stories. You get some funny, sort of, not funny people, but mm. people coming up and saying, Mr Bullock, could, could you possibly sign this on my leg? And he brings up his trousers and there's a Boba Fett 
the helmet. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, he said, can you now sign that? I said, well, yeah, if you want. I mean, it seems a funny thing to do. So I signed Jeremy Bullock, Boba Fett. Less than 10 minutes, he comes back and there's this sizzling flesh where he's had it done. And I said, you're mad, you're insane. What are you doing? No, it'll settle down, Mr. Bullock. It's hurting like mad now, but it will, I promise you it'll be okay. I'll show you later. Back he comes. There it is, it's settled down a bit. <laughs> With my signature on underneath them, and I'm thinking, you, you might think, I prefer Han Solo, what have I done? He may have permanently vandalised a man's leg, but does JB still have the edge required to portray a bounty hunting legend? I needed to see if he could command the attention of a room full of people with his stage presence. Now, the golden rule about bounty hunting is never be greedy. Greedy. Always stay focused whether you're chasing a fugitive or the fugitive. It's always important to be in top physical condition. Stay away from those carbonated drinks, I mean carbonated drinks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Please, please, please. My journey was underway. I'd met an icon, he told me his story, and he proved beyond all reasonable doubt that he still got it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for regular interviews and audition tapes with Star Wars actors.